Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support and I hope all is well with everyone. Today we are going to find out what are your important love messages. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not apply to each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me. Important accurate love messages for Pisces. Show me more. Okay, Pisces, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed in this reading. Could either be you or the person whom you are thinking about or dealing with. Got the Ten of Wands here in reverse. That could be somebody feeling like, I don't want to carry this burden anymore. I think I'll be better off just being alone for a while, okay? Because we've got the Nine of Cups here. Could be you feeling this way or it could be your person. So there's a lot of silence here with the High Priestess keeping to oneself, not wanting to talk. But I do sense that someone could still be interested even though if they're not talking to you or it could go vice versa, okay? The tower is in reverse here. I do sense that somebody is wanting actually to undo the damages that they could have done to this connection. However, does not want to speak about it with the Ace of Swords here in reverse. There's a Seven of Cups here in reverse. For me, it's like somebody knows that this is what I want, he or she is what I want, but I'm not seeing it right now, okay? I'm just keeping quiet. I'm sitting still here with the Nine of Cups and the High Priestess. Could be you or your person. Mm, so we've got the judgment in reverse and in reverse and we've got the Ace of Cups here in reverse. There's a sense of someone feeling that, you know what, uh, I don't think it's such a good judgment call to return to this person because I don't think this person is sincere. Ace of Cups in reverse. Um, or that this person doesn't have feelings for me or doesn't love me. This is how somebody could be feeling right now in regards to you or how you feeling that way in regards to somebody else, okay? So with the King of Wands here in reverse and the Four of Wands, you know, there is an individual here, a Pisces. This person may be an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, can be any sign, but could be Cancer as well, could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio again. Can be any sign, doesn't really matter. We all could embody any of these energies. But I do feel somebody feeling that this person with the King of Wands here in reverse was uh, non committal, non committal in and out. May have lied, may have cheated. Okay, King of Wands in reverse can be a player energy. Four of Wands in reverse indicates uh, a not stable kind of relationship or not quite a stable individual, not a stable partner, okay? So we've got these three of wands here, and also we've got the chariot in reverse. With the three of wands here, I feel like either both of you could be at a distance from each other for some of you. If it's not that, it could just indicate somebody waiting for the right moment to take actions, or someone could be waiting for somebody to take actions towards them, okay? In the meantime, Pisces, I see a lot of non-communication, or that there's nothing going on right now, as in nobody is actually taking actions towards somebody here, okay? Although deep down, somebody feels like they want to, but for some reason, the Nine of Cups can be a little bit of a smug energy that I'm getting here. Uh, it's like, okay, I purposely don't want to talk about this. I purposely don't want to reach out. So somebody could be doing that in purpose. However, the High Priestess here, I feel like it can be a little bit of a stockish energy only because this card here has the High Priestess holding a laptop on her lap, uh, putting, <laughs> looking at the laptop. I mean, holding a laptop, but looking straight. So to me, that may just indicate a little bit of a spying energy. Because the high priestess also holds a lot of secrets, okay? Maybe somebody could be could be spying because they are curious to find something out here. But in the meantime, feeling kind of like, okay, you know, this is this is mm, this is what I'll do for now, okay? I'm not gonna take actions. I'm not gonna say anything. Could be you or your person. So we've got the Queen of Cups here. This is your energy, Pisces. I feel like either mm, somebody does love you or that you do love somebody, okay? Somebody also may look at you as someone really kind and compassionate, um, also delicate, I would say, 
uh, highly intuitive with the Queen of Cups here, and we've also got the Eight of Swords. I do sense somebody can't forget about can't forget about you, um, constantly thinking about you. I sense somebody again. That, Somebody here is still interested, I would say, still thinking a lot about you, or you could still be thinking a lot about somebody. But then again, I don't see anybody taking any actions because the Eight of Swords is a very stuck energy, right? Someone still is feeling really stuck and perhaps still analyzing, still thinking about what had happened or thinking about the past. And with the Five of Wands here in reverse here, I do sense that someone, you know, Queen of Cups for me, uh, I feel like starting, someone is starting to try to love themselves more, okay? Because although the Queen of Cups, I don't know, the way I see it, uh, across with uh, across the Ace of Cups here in my verse, to me, this is self-love, self-care. And the Queen of Cups to me right now could embody that as well. There could be an energy of somebody taking care of themselves, trying, trying to love themselves first and stopping themselves from actually taking any actions or being a part of any sorts of drama or, you know, if they're, if they're at the parties, the parties as in there could be other options. Okay, somebody may have other options. I feel like someone here, it could be you Pisces, just don't want to be one of the options or don't want to be one of the options anymore, okay? We've got the Ace of Pentacles here in our first, and we've also got the World card here. This may indicate, again, for some of you, you could be at a distance from this, this person. If you're not at a distance from this person, Pisces, I just feel like it's been saying if you're just hanging there, okay? If you love yourself more, take care of yourself, your own well-being, pour your own cup here full, uh, it looks like, you will be able to close out the old chapter and start a new chapter and you may be bossing up here with the emperor in an upright position or when pe when somebody sees that about you as well someone may actually try to step up okay uh, to become a better partner so <clears throat> ace of pentacles in reverse also may indicate uh, a delay in a love offer commitment okay perhaps also um, I don't know, I just feel like there could be some sort of a divine timing here. Um, waiting, wrong timing. For some of you, it's because of wrong timing or wrong place, wrong time, wrong place for some of you, okay? Because it looks like there could be an energy of somebody needing to step up, okay? And they still are not over yet with how, they still haven't changed yet, that's what I'm getting, but there could be a change being made here. Uh, from a king of wands turning into the emperor again it could be you or your person <clears throat> all right pisces sorry about my voice <clears throat> i'm about to lose it <laughs> but anyway this is your reading i hope you resonated if you did please hit like share and subscribe i'm gonna leave you with a video on the screen right now this is the video from my second vlog channel if you're interested to check it out and also i'm open for personal readings if you guys would like to book me it is not free okay information is in the description box below and pisces um i post the videos almost every single day however different timing if you would like to be notified every time when i post your videos don't forget to hit on the bell notification button all right take care pisces bye